So, dear friends, today I'm going to talk about the developer console. I decided to uh, uh, make a uh, video on the developer console because I have seen many people are uh, uh, struggling to work uh, with the developer console. So, with this uh, thought that this video might be helping uh, the people who are uh, absolute new or new to the Salesforce and do not know much about the, uh, the developer console. So let's start. So when you click on your name and uh, you click on the developer console, a window uh, gets open for you. You can copy this uh, URL. And uh, when you copy this URL, you can uh, open this into, now you can paste this URL here and your developer console will be available here. Now, a few things I have already uh, told about these functions when uh, in a separate video when uh, I made the first video of the test class uh, in which the, the these all things are very much uh, explained so I'm not going to cover uh, these things in this video uh, if you uh, want to know about uh, uh, this particular section then uh, you can uh, uh, view my video the first video on the test class uh, in uh, from you can easily fetch from the playlist so let's say you know the this is the query editor let's say i am writing my query here and i am clicking on the execute so you generally may see this kind of data okay now what if if i want to you know the make the change uh, here only let's say i'm putting a four so i can click on the save and this particular change uh, you can see in the in the record as well See, it's now test 0054. Let me do once again for you. Save rows. Let me refresh this. So this way you can do with the multiple uh, records and uh, you know, and you can click on the save rows. And your all data will be made, uh, saved with the uh, changes which you have made. Now, this is the insert row column. So insert row means that it, uh, this provides you, uh, you know, a permission to create a record for you from the developer console. So let's say I am uh, giving the uh, last name at this and when I will click on the uh, save rows I will this you know when, as soon as I click on save rows this particular uh, you know the entry in the last name becomes my record so if I have to go and uh, check This Devi console. Now, let's say if I want to uh, delete any uh, particular record, so I will be clicking delete. Okay, and if I will refresh it, 
record deleted okay now this refresh grid means that it refreshes the entire you know the this grid let's say you know the uh, you have made some changes on uh, from here and you want to you know the see the result after clicking on the refresh grid so you will you will simply click on the refresh grid uh, and you know it will show you the updated data okay now the another thing is create new so when you click on the create new it opens a uh, you know the uh, that particular object uh, the page in which you can uh, actually enter the data and you can create the record okay let's say you know the and uh, see the let me try entries here i just click on the refresh grid and it's here now you know the i'm closing this particular window uh, and uh, i'm clicking on this and i want to you know do some sort of the operation on this particular uh, record from here only so i will go uh, with the added page and it will you know the allow me to edit some data here okay and i will click on the save try now okay now if I want to open the detail page to see any of the data of this, so let's say uh, I click it, the record, so detail page will be open from here. Okay, now, now many of the time I have seen that the, you know the developers are, uh, you know the uh, to check the API name of the field. They generally, you know, they may, uh, if they have to query or they have to, you know, they write the code and something like this. So they, what they generally do is they may generally, uh, you know, adopt the approach of uh, going here, then view fields, and then they, you know, they uh, take the field name and APIs. But in the developer console, we have the option of this already. So let's say, if I click here and uh, I am writing the account so any you know the in the uh, you know any of the name with the extension dot obj is a is a object okay uh, the standard and the custom and you get the entire you know the uh, the uh, the fields here with the I mean the api's and the uh, type of the field and you can even you know the query uh, the uh, the fields let's say i want to query these all fields so i will be simply select i have selected these fields and i will simply click on the my query hopefully i should get the selected fields here id is related master record id name type from account and as i click on the execute I will get the data so you know instead of you know the going uh, back into the you know the summer uh, the sales was UI then post.com then summer uh, fetching the feeds it's an easy option available you can you know the simply uh, you know the uh, select the object and how you you can open this object let me show you so basically you know the you uh, what I I did is Control Shift O. I repeat, Control Shift O, and then I am uh, putting the you know the uh, the object name. You can also you know the go from here. File. Open resources. Now remember, when you must select the open resources, then you get the option of you know the uh, selecting any of the object. Uh, the class name, uh, the components, 
uh, you know the uh, lightning components, Visual Force pages, whatever you have created. So Control Shift O is is give you the you know the uh, uh, very uh, general uh, approach to select by the you know by inserting the name. But when you go with the open, that means Control O then you get the you know the classified like you know the, if you want to select the classes if you want to select the triggers if you want to select the pages objects so you know here it is very much you know the uh, classified like, let's say if i may you know the uh, select the object and i may click on here uh, then you know the i will be able to open it and uh, you know the even you know uh, you can see that this particular object is referred in these uh, triggers so when i click on this you know it loads the entire uh, you know the field with the api and the type the second one you know the is uh, when you click on this and uh, that let's say that uh, this is a class you have the you know let's uh, let's take it this particular class so you know the this i mean this is a class and this is a uh, the one of the class which i have uh, chosen so you know the when i will click on this and will select open then it will open a class for me okay same way if you particularly have to go for the lighting sources then you can click on control shift a or open lightning resources and then you will have the only option of selecting you know your uh, lighting resources here So this is all about for today. In the uh, next video, I will be uh, coming with the more details. Uh, before ending the session, uh, let me you know the, uh, share you one more thing, which might help you in your debugging and uh, you know the uh, uh, also in the or uh, when you uh, when you're working in a in a in, a, in an existing code and you want to see. That uh, where it is has been referred or something like this. So I have copied this data and Control Shift H I am doing and I am putting the you know the in this particular the method name and just simply me putting my enter here. So it will show me that you know the from where I you know the I have uh, uh, used this particular method. Uh, so I actually have used this method in a you know the in a three classes so you know the test update made uh, what is this let me see because i okay so three classes test update contact test batch opportunity currency test update from the latest opportunity so the three you know the, the classes i have uh, used the uh, create data so you know th this you know the uh, will be a easy process when you know, especially you know in, when you are working in on an existing code and uh, you have to find that where this particular method or where this particular you know the uh, the uh, the object or class has been may you know the used uh, uh, i mean in other other classes triggers or you know the so this is an easy option for you you just have to you know the uh, the copy and uh, with Control Shift H, uh, you have to enter. You know, you have to put the data here. Then select the class name and open selection. So you get the data here. So in the next video, I will be you know the coming up with the uh, some new you know, some new things about the developer console, uh, as well as you know the uh, the in the next video I will be coming with the uh, schedule with class that in which I will be you know the, uh, the showing you the live how to make the Chrome expressions to schedule your uh, uh, you know the your uh, uh, class your batch class and uh, including the test classes. Uh, hope you are you know, you know the uh, uh, learning from my uh, uh, from my you know the efforts 
So I request you to please may, uh, uh, like my, my, my channel, uh, I mean subscribe my channel, like my video and share to the people who are uh, new to the Salesforce or they are willing to learn uh, more things about the Salesforce. Uh, and let make it this this as a process so that you know the may the knowledge can, can be shared uh, uh, you know the uh, the people who are very much eager to learn uh, technology learn salesforce i'm also uploading the, in the video in the hindi language especially for the uh, hindi lovers so that you know the, uh, the uh, language cannot be uh, the marked as a barrier and uh, this can you know the uh, uh, be understood by the uh, everyone uh, who are not that much more comfortable with the make communication because language is just you know the uh, is just a, you know the way or you can uh, mode of communication so uh, thank you and uh, we'll meet again with the next video on the uh, something new about the size force uh, and the yes the important topic uh, is uh, schedule epic schedule uh, scheduler and uh, the lightning and the integration thank you and have a nice day